coats on if I need to and I've never actually ha uh, done this before you see let's put a bit more on there we go see the brush strokes at the moment but hopefully it will uh, even out after a few minutes and then I will do that one and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards I've painted two coats of white hammerite onto this using a brush rather than an aerosol and uh, I'm pretty happy with the outcome to be honest this is only one side so I need to still turn it over and do the edges as well and all that but it's coming out nice. I've done a tiny bit here of the chassis. A lot of it, it needs to be uh, masked off and everything, which it, that takes ages to do. But I've cleaned it all, then I've prepared the surface so that there's nothing on it. It just looks, you know, it looks dark, but compared to like how amazing it's gonna look when it's done. Um, some areas are going to be painted uh, black as well, so For example like the fuel tank and they paint that in black probably paint this in black As well, this is going to be white all the way across I need this to dry so I can put the wiring over here so then I can do the rest of it um, But all the frame in here this is going to be a bit complicated because I need to remove this uh, wire in all the hangers and the hangers don't seem to just come off they only snap off so then I'm gonna have to remove them and find a new way of rehanging this wire later on uh, so I need to paint all of in uh, all of it in here all the way along all this as well I need to paint all this as well so that's gonna be a, quite a job and as you can see I've got to mask off everything so that white paint doesn't get on anything um, this is going to all be painted black as well so it's going to be black and white it's going to look nice and then the exhaust at some point will probably get changed uh, I'll get a professional to do that though and uh, yeah like these suspension mounts these are going to be black as well I think uh, obviously the frame white and I think it's going to look pretty nice I'm probably going to change all the suspension at some point but we'll see when we come round to it because it's all more expense isn't it but that's uh, where we're up to so far I can't wait to do more and I will of course show everybody how it's going so that's the end of the day uh, this is what I've actually got done managed to paint this whole section here on the back and um, just managed to move the wire out of the way so then it wouldn't drape over and I would be able to actually paint it um, I painted these uh, mountain points all the way around there you see there uh, it looks so fresh now this is going to be painted black that's why I've left it for now even though it wouldn't really matter but just preference um, and this is the frame on the side so far that I've painted it looks so different it is very very white um, if I compare it to the cab actually it's well you can see for yourself it's uh, this is more like arctic white and this is like it got a greyish tone or off-white but it's also not shiny this because whoever painted it didn't uh, polish it or anything afterwards so that's all to do I'll have to get that respread at some point but this is looking really nice 
the only thing I'm worried about is trying to do it in here. I have to find a way to get these to come forwards, but it's still going to be hard even when I move them forwards because I'm not going to disconnect it all. It's just too much uh, work and that to actually disconnect everything. So I'll have to find a way to paint around it. I'm sure that I'll work it out. Um, and I'll do a reasonable job um, painted down this side as well. It needs more paint on it, it's not really enough, uh, but it's good enough for now. But uh, it's looking really nice, I can't wait to finish it all. Oh, it's a lovely little vehicle. And then I've got that to put on as well. Yeah. There's going to be lots and lots of videos, that's for certain. I just love this uh, this bar, how bright it looks now compared to like before when it was just rusty. It actually looks like a, a little truck, actually. I suppose it is. Um, and these have had two coats of paint. Only on one side, like I say, I've got to do the other side, I'll do that tomorrow. But when these are put back on as well, it's going to look really nice. I'm going to try and get hold of some stainless steel bolts or to put these on because I'm sick of rust and I don't want them to rust again. So if I can get stainless, much better. As you can see, I've got to finish up with the painting. Uh, that's going to be quite a long process. It's probably going to be over a few videos because there's going to be different aspects that I, I'm going to struggle with and I'm going to detail and document it all. Uh, this bit here is also going to have to be done with a spray can because I want a better finish. These, it's not too, uh, you know, it's not too critical to actually have uh, like brush marks in, but I don't want brush marks here. So this is all going to be covered anyway. It's just to protect it, and it, you know, at a glance, it's going to look really nice. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if you have, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I've got so much more to do on this, so I'd love to, uh, for you to follow along with the build process.